In today's news, King Mo goes off on Scott Coker following news of Bellator PFL merger. On Monday, it was revealed that the PFL has bought Bellator in a massive deal that will change the landscape of MMA. The general consensus was that it will be good for the sport as it could be a legit promotion that would rival the UFC. However, Mohamed Lawal, more known as King Mo, who fought 17 times in Bellator and 5 times in Strike Force under Scott Coker, doesn't appear to be a fan of the deal. He tweeted, At Bellator, Scott Coker, you hired a man that calls you an idiot. You hired a man that calls you incompetent. You talk out of everyone, Jane, Carey, Big John, and Punk, Mike Kogan, you are a first class bitch. your ass will get yours. He continued, at PFL, what did Bellator, Dream, and Strikeforce have in common besides going out of business? Mike Kogan's ass was involved with them. They all failed. PFL, your organization will suffer the same fate, red flags, mark my words and save this tweet, y'all will get done wrong by his lying ass. Dan Hooker is out of UFC Austin. During an interview with Submission Radio, Hooker revealed that an injury has forced him out of his scheduled five-round co-main event matchup against Bobby Green at UFC Austin. The promotion is seeking a replacement opponent for Green. You can watch the full interview on Submission Radio's YouTube channel. We blinked it below. I'm all right, boys. I'm all right. What's I'm going on? Uh, I'm better. Wait, what? What is this? What happened? <laughs> Uh, sparring yesterday, just popped a bit of a kick, uh, got sent for an x-ray, she's, she's custom. It's broken? <laughs> yeah, yeah, nah, it broke, um, it just broke in the same place, it, it kind of is what it is. This is the second time an injury has scratched Hooker from about in 2023. The hangman was set to face Jalen Turner at UFC 285 in March, but a broken hand forced him out. Hooker will eventually face Turner in a thrilling contest at July's UFC 290 event, where he earned a split decision victory to extend his winning streak to two. Bobby Green is not happy with Anthony Smith's recent comments. In a recent Instagram story, the UFC lightweight had some direct words after Smith's comments about King getting knocked down in a fight against Tony Ferguson. Bobby clarified that he wasn't knocked down, and what really happened is he just got caught off balance with a jab and got knocked back. Hear it from the man himself. Oh, the f up. I just gotta say this real quick. I don't know where y'all keep, I didn't heard it's like two, three times from fighters. And I'm talking about real fighters like Anthony Smith, like Patty Pimmons. Well, Patty ain't no real fighter. But anyway, all these are saying I got dropped by Tony. Let me make this shit real clear for y'all. If you want to count as a drop, you want to count as a drop. But really, I was doing a low leg kick and then I were doing a jab. He didn't knock me or drop me with a jab. So I was throwing a little ass leg kick. He just caught me at the same time off balance and then knocked me back. Did not knock me down. Didn't I mean, did not hurt me. Didn't rock me. Nothing changed. So Anthony, you my dog, but clear that shit the fuck up. That's all I'm going to say about that. Smith responded on the BYM podcast saying that he wasn't trying to be disrespectful and just wanted to highlight Tony. Yeah, I mean, me and Bobby go way back. So I, I've said it over and over and over that I, I got a special place in my heart for Bobby Green. This is past fighting and past all the other BS. This is this is like a, some man to man thing. I, I I I love Bobby Green. So I have no problem clarifying. I when I say that, my point in saying that is to I'm highlighting Tony. My point is that number one, it's counted as a drop. It is he's counted as a knockdown on the record books. My point is that people are discrediting Tony, saying that Tony has absolutely no chance and no shot at beating Patty Pimblett. My point is that I hold Bobby Green in such high regard that I think he is so good and he is so skilled, and Tony was able to hang with him as long as mm. he did in that fight. That alone tells me that Tony or that Tony Ferguson can beat Patty Pimblett. That was my point. Nina Drama and Helen E go back and forth on Twitter. It all started after a fan tweeted, Nina is kicking your ass at this engagement farming game. Helen, step it up a notch. Helen replied, I'm not trying to engagement farm or compete with anyone, so shut the f up. I hate social media anyway and have been focused solely on training. Stop 
comparing different people. Nina chimed in, writing, People have tried to pit us against each other since the beginning. Helene is an actual journalist and athlete. We both bring something different to the MMA community, and I'm tired of seeing this negative f It's getting old. Put some respect on Helene's name. Helen replied, It's unreal the amount of people who love negativity and compare us every time I log into this app. After minding my own business training, laughing emo, I appreciate your nice words. By the way, I tried texting you months back after you reached out so that we can chat in a better setting than online. Haven't gotten a text back yet, but hopefully soon. That's when the conversation between Helen and Nina about not having beef almost turned into actual beef. Nina responded, I DM'd you when that troll made up a rumor about us beefing and didn't hear from you. Then I approached you in person to let you know I reached out and you didn't seem into it. Then you eventually responded to my initial DM, to which I responded and we exchanged numbers and messaged, and you took a minute to get back to me so I figured you weren't into it. It's all good, Helen. Never had anything but love. I wish you all the best on your competition. You're gonna f***ing kill it. Helen replied, Respectfully, you just read this four minutes ago when I messaged you in July, and I texted you, which you still never texted me back, at a swim meet in Oregon. When you approached me in person, you blindsided me in public where there were other people around being nosy, which I explained to you, and you seemed understanding at the time. I texted you and responded to your DM, but I never heard from you, so I figured you didn't want to meet up. I tried. Well, best of luck to you. Keep killing it too. The conversation ended after Helen posted photos of the DMs, which read, Hi Nina, I texted you last night. I had a swim competition and have been out of town since last Thursday. I'm back in Vegas till tomorrow evening if you're free. Thanks. Hi Nina, this is Helen Yee. Sorry for the late text. I'm a night owl. Just got back from a swim competition in Oregon, but I'm in Vegas tomorrow and Thursday if you have time to meet up and chat. Mike Bisping reveals he almost fought Daniel Cormier at UFC 200. Bisping recently reflected on his near fight with Cormier on his YouTube channel. There, he revealed that he was serious about stepping in to fight DC. However, he wasn't chosen. Cormier even laughed off the idea when approached. Bisping said, DC needed an opponent, right? And I tweeted out, I'll do it. I was the middleweight champion then, and I was deadly serious. And DC kind of laughed it off. Ah, Bisping, what's he talking about? I was deadly serious. I'll step in there with you. And as we know, it was Anderson Silva. He flew in on a day's notice, went to a decision, got beat soundly of course, there's not even a discussion there. Nice body kick by Anderson at the end there, that was about all that he landed. Bisping continued, but 100%, I was serious, step up last minute, no training camp, I don't give a sh he's gonna take me down, he might pound me out, who knows, probably choke me, it's another training session and I've got nothing to lose. Like, I'll give it a do. Come on. Let's go, DC. Let's see what you got. Listen, he's a beast. He's a monster. And it wouldn't have gone well for me. But 100%, you get a massive payday. Like on UFC 200, a champ champ fight, risk-free. Here are the top three memes found on the internet today. Third place was found over Reddit and was posted by a user named Raw Power. Second place meme was found over Facebook and was posted by a user named UFC Kink. And the top picked meme was found over Reddit, and it was posted by a user named Petkov. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to stay in the talk.